Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete our delete functionality for the admin. Right here, right now, that is the one of the user. We don't need it. I want to remove it. And also now I want to add another new admin. Okay. And why I'm actually using all that our admin now I want to do. I want to discuss about that things with you with the live example. Here we successfully created all that our role and permission. Here we assign some of the role or permission for a particular that user area. Okay. And also here we assign all that our role into the permission. Okay. Here also we created some of the admin user. We can add it that admin user. You can edit it. You can also so delete it right now i want to do i want to use it by this privilegization that is all that our role right so now with this role you privilege all that your menu now step by step i show you if you go to that uh, our basic that means our spidey here that is if you go to the basic uses now if you want to use it that have also another function that is with this you can actually now call all that your permission Mm, if you go to that our introduction okay into the introduction area here i want to find it mm, you can see that is actually user can and that will be your permission okay i show you first of all better i want to create another admin and i just name that as a march march a march and then march Okay, march at the gmail.com, email.com, and then I want to use it phone number, and then that will be India. Okay, and then you do me one, two, three, four, five. This type of one of the user I want to create, and also I want to assign that role as a manager right now. Click as a save changes. Great great so now you can see there is a two of this user right one is the udemy another is i have created as a march so for the march i have assigned that manager as a role and for the udemy i have assigned that role as a sales right if you also want to better open that our permission and open all that our permission right now I want to go there so that is all that our permission right so i want to do i want to log in with this user better i want to copy it now i want to open with the indigo everything will be very clear don't worry now i want to log in this user so that is our name i want to log in with the udemy at the red gmail.com uh, sorry here that will be as a udemy at the red gmail.com i want to add it and i password i have used it as a udemy one two three four five right now if you click as a logged in Hmm. You can see right now is the user Udemy locking successful. So this user now you can see able to access all that our menu. So I don't want to add this type of one of the privilegization because here just simply understand for that user I have used it as a sales, right? When that will be as a sales, that means if you go to right now our all role permission here also I want to open it simply understand here that for that user that is the udemy that is using that as a sales and for the sales this user has some of the permission he only able to access that our amenities menu amenities all amenities add amenities edit and then delete right he will be not able to access any other rest of this menu so now first of all we have to do we have to protect it so that is in our sidebar now we have to work into the sidebar now i want to close everything that will be not needed we will need that our sidebar that is our admin sidebar right so into the admin sidebar first of all i want to start it that things from our property type Okay, so that is a property type i show you like that is our li is started li is ended so that is our total li okay and for the property type if you go to that our permission i have already created different type of permission you can see that is our type permission that is our type menu type all and add type edit type and delete type so i want to now call this function so here if you go that will be as a user and then can and then it will be our permission name so now i want to do i want to access it that means here here only you have to put one simple condition as a if okay that is if and then that will be as a and if so i want to first of all add that if condition area here i want to do I want to make it as an authenticated user so that is our authenticated user authenticated user will be as a can function so that is one of the spidey role and permission of the function as a can function into the can area i want to do and to assign that our permission 
our permission for a specific that menu that is our total menu you can see that is a li so that is a property type here i want to done to add that permission our permission name i want to done to use it as a type menu okay i use it as a type menu great and that will be started from here and also i want to do and to make it as a and if just the simple things you have to understand okay that's all now also i want to add another condition for our this menu that is also another menu i show you the same condition i copy it now that is a one li i want to add it okay that is if condition and also that is another li i want to add another if condition that will be ended here that is our ended in particular that area that is our one and also that will be ended in here right so after that i want to end it great now that will be for the all type all type i have also created another relation you can see now i hope it's very clear why i'm actually name it by the permission as a all type now that will be as a all type so if this user has permission as a all type then that will be executed and also make that sure that should be one of the single code okay here with the single code area here we have to add that our permission i simply added that permission in here okay that is a single code great so now if this user has that permission as all type he will be able to access that menu rather than he will be not able to access this menu and also the same for the add type i copy it that will be for the add type okay that is the add type for if this user has permission for the add type then he will be able to display this menu rather than that will be not display okay friend so that is the if condition and that is our and if and that is also another if condition and if if condition and that is our and if great so friend that's all you have to do okay that's all you have to do like i want to now click as a save all and also for this i didn't add load this route i have already created on the route so that will be as a add okay add type right so that i have already created this route if you now click as a save all now i want to do i want to check it if you now go i want to also run that our php addition optimize optimize is running like for this user i have already logging with the udemy that is our, our part role as a sales right so if you go to this user as a sales and he can able to only access that our amenities that means right now that our property type that should be not display if you go now that not should be display for our app udemy user right now let's check this out click as a refresh yes you can see friend that is our property type is not display it because of all this user don't have any permission that means this authenticated user that is no permission for the type menu this user don't have any permission for the all type right now let's check this out i want to do and to change it like right now that is our sales right for the udemy for the udemy role assigned as a sales i want to update this permission if you want to update it like here i want to edit like for the sales person i want to do i want to allow the our property type okay that means if you go and you can see there is a type menu i want to do i want to assign the type menu he'll be able to access all menu he'll be able to access add menu add that means add type he'll be able to access it now click as a save changes now this sales one of the role this role has some of the permission as a type menu all type add type right and right now i am already logging one of the, one of the udemy and this user already assigned one of the permission our permission name as a sales right you can see that is our sales now that should be display our all that menu like if you go now if you refresh it hmm you can see now that is display our property type and all type and add type so now if you want to prevent it like here i don't want to allow add type okay for this user i don't want to allow that add type in that case only you have to go to that permission as a sales i want to click as a edit and then i want to do i don't want to give this permission he will be not able to access that our add type menu okay now click as a save changes now that should be not display our add that means add type that should be not display now refresh it now if you go yes you can see it's not display this menu as a add type that means add type is not display in here 
okay and now with the same condition you can actually apply everything like here there is a edit and delete i also don't want to display that edit and delete in that case we have to allow the same condition and that is in our details page that means if you go that is in our backend backend our file name as a type and if you go to that our all type here you can see there is two of this menu now i want to do want to apply the same things in here that will be our if condition and that is our another if condition and that will be our and if okay and if and if and also that will be our another and if great so right now i want to add the permission for the edit i have already created this permission okay here if you go i have created the permission as edit type you can see if this authenticated user has some the permission for the edit type he will be able to display this one and also another one will be as a delete type why i'm actually using it now i hope it's very clear okay now let's check this out click as a save all for that user that means role that means sales user you can see they have no permission for the edit and then delete that means right now that not should be display if you go i want to refresh it hmm, you can see there is the edit button and delete button is not display here if you want to add some of the privilegization for this user like for this user i only want to do i want to add that one privilegization he'll be able to edit it in that case only we have to go to that sales and now i want to go to that edit i want to add another permission i want to allow this user he will be able to edit this type he will be not able to delete it now click as a save changes now our edit will should be display if you now refresh it yes you can see now that is successfully display as an edit button i hope friend everything is very clear so now with this permission you can actually privilege all that your menu as per your demand okay that means the same as a property state like i want to also update it if you go to our sidebar the same condition now we have to apply like that is our property state right so that is li started li is ended here i want to do i want to simply add it and that will be our and if condition great again i want to add the same things i copy it that is our two of this li i want to update so now that will be the if and that will be if and then our and if i want to and it so after that li that will be the and if after that li that will be the and if so now for the uh, that will be for the state for the state i have also created another permission you can see there is a state i have created that state menu so if this user has permission for the state menu he will be able to display it rather than that will be not display that will be as a state all i want to give this as a state all and then that will be that state add okay so now if you click as a is that will be as a state add great now let's check this out now if you click as a save all so if you go to that our sales for the sales user they have no permission for the state you can see now that not should be display that means that is our property state not should be display refresh it hmm you can see that is not display okay if you want to allow this user for display that pop state property then only you have to do you have to update click as a edit and now i want to allow this user um, as a state you can see there is a state he will be able to access that menu he will be able to access that only all page okay now let's check this out click as a save changes now that should be display okay our menu should be display and also one menu should be display refresh it yes you can see and now that is a property state there is only one menu is available as a all state okay i hope friend everything is very very much clear to you so now simply add the same functionality for rest of all that your menu so that will be your task but i hope you get that point how to privilege all that your menu how to that is our main menu that is our sub menu how can add some of the privilegeization for the sub menu and also how can we add some of the privilegeization for the edit update so now you can create that different type of permission and simply apply all the things in here okay friend so i hope it's very clear so our condition will be just one of the single condition okay with this you can actually privilege all that your permission as per your demand 
great so friend in our next video i want to discuss about another most interactive things like here they have some of the issue like if you go to that our all page like right now this user already has this permission right so for the reasons he will be able to access that our all type but right now i want to do and to remove it like if you go like there is a sales into the sales area i want to do i don't want to add that permission he will be not able to access that our all type okay i simply make it as all make uh, all type will be not display now refresh it okay now you can see it's successfully updated and now if you go this user right now don't have any permission for the all type but right now if you refresh it yes you can see that is the menu is not display but here you already copy that our url so you can able to access that url so here also you have to do we have to protect it when this user don't have any permission for a specific some of the url then that will be also not display in here so how to protect it in spidey permission package that is also ready made now we have to call it through the middleware okay so how to protect it in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video